from his cell in Adiala Jail, Rawalpindi, where he is held in solitary confinement with 24-7 surveillance and no semblance of privacy, Pakistan's legitimate Prime Minister Imran Khan speaks to ITV's global security editor Rohit Kachru. Mr. Khan said that he is both mentally and physically prepared for the struggle ahead and that genuine democratic change and freedom in Pakistan were never going to be easy. He told ITV News that the people of Pakistan yearn for change, for democracy and for the prevalence of rule of law and that their votes, quote, were a cry for justice, self-determination and freedom, end quote. However, a party that won merely 18 seats in the National Assembly was imposed upon the nation. Mr. Khan spoke of the fascist ways in which his party was dismantled, prevented from participating in the electoral process, his party's leaders and supporters, regardless of their age or gender, were abducted, tortured and the sanctity of the homes violated. Ever the champion of the Muslim world, Imran Khan urged the newly elected Prime Minister, Sir Keir Stama, to work towards mending the current rise in Islamophobia in the United Kingdom. Speaking to reporters after his trial in a makeshift courtroom in Adyala Jail, Pakistan's former Prime Minister Imran Khan said that his message to the establishment is that they ought to realize that the country is heading towards destruction. He added that the nation and its institutions are being damaged due to criminals being installed into power. Mr. Khan bemoaned the rising inflation and the ever-rising electricity bills that the Pakistani people are struggling to pay. He expressed his concerns about the IPP crisis created by the Sharifs and the Zadaris merely for their financial gain. Regarding Pakistan's latest crisis in the shape of internet disruption, the arbitrarily detained former premier stated that the restrictions on the internet have resulted in a loss of $500 million. He asked how investment can be attracted in such a situation when the country is already facing an economic crisis. Imran Khan reminded the nation that after the 2018 elections, his government inherited a $19.5 billion deficit from the Nawaz Sharif government and had to work with the IMF due to severe financial difficulties. Imran Khan once again reminded the media that he and his party were the victims in the regime change as well as the main Iron false flag operations, yet are being painted as the culprits and penalized for both. He reiterated that whoever stole the CCTV footage is responsible and the beneficiary of the events of May 9, 2023. Former Prime Minister Imran Khan, national hero, cricket legend, and internationally acclaimed philanthropist and Kebbel College alum, is running for Chancellor of the Oxford University from prison. Mr. Khan's close associate, who's been spearheading international media engagement, Sayed Zulfikar Bukhari, said in a post on the social media platform X that Imran Khan's application form to the Oxford University Chancellor election 2024 has been submitted according to the former Premier's instructions. Speaking to members of the media, Imran Khan's sister Alima Khan voiced the family's concern that her brother will once again be falsely convicted in yet another politically motivated case, this time the Al-Qadir Trust case. She went on to state that the family has received information that the regime has decided to eliminate Imran Khan. Reports of real threats to Imran Khan's life are surfacing once again. Multiple attempts to assassinate him have been made since he was ousted from office. In his May 2nd article in The Telegraph, Imran Khan had identified the risk and those who he would hold responsible if anything happened to him or his wife. There is rising concern that Pakistan's powerful establishment is planning to take the former prime minister into military custody and subject him to an unconstitutional military trial. Monday, August 19, marked one year since the unjust incarceration of Pakistan Tehreek-e Insaf's Vice Chairman Shah Mahmood Qureshi. Mr. Qureshi is serving time for his courage, faith, resilience and his loyalty to Imran Khan and Pakistan. PTI has announced the date and venue of its next massive protest and show of public support. The rally will be held in the afternoon of Thursday, August 22nd at Tarnal Chowk, Peshawar Road, Islamabad. 